Hey everybody, I went and got myself some of these little cheap solar panels. And this one here says fragile. So it's uh, glass in that one. And this one here is a odd looking. And I'm going to show you a graphic difference here. And this one here. Now these are flexible. They're not what they call bendable, but they're flexible. So I mean, they, they have some general flexibility to them and these are used predominantly for if you're going to do some charging of car batteries things like that motorcycle batteries your ATVs your garden tractors that you sit out and leave out in the open for a long time um, I want to show you a difference here now this one here has had its plastic cover film off of it so it's giving you a little bit of reflection there and you can see the part of the shop this one here though is branded as a whatever and this one over here is just labeled as flexible solar panel made in china now i want to show you this a little light come on all right now one of the cool things about this one and this one comes from aliexpress this one is from Amazon, and these are from eBay. Now, one of the things that this panel here is kind of impressive, or these panels, is they're $20 a piece, or $21, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and get the panels opened up. Now, I've covered up my information on the panels, but um, we're going to go ahead and open them up and take this out of here I haven't opened them I got them in today I had these in for a few days and we're going to check these out 20 watt panel 20 watt panel and 20 watt panel and pardon my fingers um, just finished putting the uh, the new hub sets in on the old Dayton axles those are old Dayton axles they're really creepy <laughs> having to work on them so here we go let's get this started we're going to go ahead and open these panels up all right, so you got to be careful because there's glass in here, so we don't want to reach in too deep. So I'm going to grab my knife here, just hold it right down here at the tip, and just score the top of that. Be careful opening up solar panels. You never know what you're going to hit in there and damage them permanently. So we're just going to kind of open them up. And um, I haven't checked them. Hell, they could be broken. I don't know. I don't think so. Let's hope not. Um, panel number one. Looks like the... This company here is New Power. <laughs> um, I'm sure that translates into long, you know, but we're just going to go ahead and check them out. Now, oh, look at that. Solar Land. Now, New Power is selling these Solar Land panels. Incomplete, no wiring. Looks like I'll be ordering a bunch more of these if this specs out. Uh, it's just a 20 watt panel. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these panels, and not these, but these panels. And I'll put a link, look below the video, down with the description, like the upload date, and I'll put a link to where I'm getting these. Now, in this one's case, there's no diode, there's no wire, there's no nothing. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to solder on a diode. These have the diodes built in, and so do these. Now, I find this one unusual because it doesn't have, it does not have uh, the USB port. This one does have a USB port with a film resistor that produces uh, 5.3 volts, I believe, uh, which is good for you charging your cell phones. All right, now what we've done is we've got it set up to where we have 10 amp IC style Schottky diodes. Now. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to kind of wave it around there, and hopefully you can. But there is some writing, and on these diodes, the incoming side of voltage is going to be on the right side. If you lay it down like you see here, see, that would be upside down. You can see the back's all metal for the cooling. On this side is, and this won't need, this is just an amp and a half. It won't need any kind of a, a cooling on it, no, no heat sink. Not going to need it. Um... The positive side incoming from the solar panel will be on this side, and the outgoing to the red wire to your uh, uh, 
charge controller or whatever will be on this side. So you have two sides to it. There's usually lettering that is on this side of it that you can read. I don't know if I can get in there close enough. Hopefully you can see some of that lettering. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's kind of staggered. There it is, staggered to one side. So that's going to give you an idea. That is the incoming side. So now what I've done is I went ahead and I severed the bus tape right here and this is the positive side see the plus and I checked it also with my meter to guarantee that it is a functioning panel and went ahead and took screws out and we're just going to be using standard 18 gauge style terminals 16 to 18 gauge and I am using outdoor rated 16 gauge wire for this and we're going to strip it back one inch from the end and this wire here will go in very good so i've got the clamp removed and the wire will go in very nicely the best part about doing it this way you see that um, is i'm able to put this diode here now if you have a um, regular diode you can't really do this very well but you can still do it but this way, I'm able just to solder the two points right there, and that's it. And just keep these two separated by the legs of the diode. And that'll allow me to stagger it. And see, do you notice the angle I cut it? I want you to pay attention there. I cut it at that angle on purpose because I don't want my diode touching my negative side. And it's going to stagger itself up to the top edge right up here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get that soldered on and show you what that looks like. And then we're going to take it outside and do a test on it and we'll volt test all these and we're also going to for the uh, pessimist crowd we are also going to take this cool little eight amp controller and we're going to run it through it so we're going to feed the power through and see what its features are because it's pretty good little controller and these are about ten dollars a piece well worth it you can order these in bulk from AliExpress, or you can get them on eBay. Express. I get them for about five bucks, so um, that's why I put the link down at the bottom of the video of AliExpress. There's a hell of a reason for it. You save a lot of money. You might have to wait two more days. That's about it. The, uh, the panel now, we're going to get that soldered, and we'll show you exactly what it's going to look like when it's done. Be aware that if you order these panels from that link, they don't come with this. And if you want them with the diode in them, they're 38 bucks. You want them without the diode, a 21 cent diode, and a little of your time, they're 21 bucks. Okay, so what we're working with now is we have the diode installed, as you can see down in here, and there's the lettered side, and over here is the uh, outgoing side, and that would be the outgoing. So we're going to go ahead and get my wire put in. And I'm just going to thread it backwards because it was easier to put my terminals on. And just be careful with this box. Do not jerk on these boxes. They are not exactly the strongest thing in the world. So we're going to go ahead and get the terminals installed. And always leave your solar panel down, face down in the dark because you don't want to have a chance of arcing a wire while you're doing this. As long as they're in the dark, they'll produce no power. Unless they're a Steon or something. Steons will produce power in the dark. It's a little different. I'll put this video in speed motion right quick so we can get through this. And just torque these with a just about enough that you'd expect plastic to strip out. Don't go no further than that. Now, the clip that goes with them is shaped like this. It's actually made, silly enough, for a 12 gauge wire. You can run this on 20 gauge. So what I'm done is I've kind of flattened it a little bit and I'm turning it upside down to pinch this wire down and I'll shove the wire up a little further and the sheathing on it because I kind of worked it down to do this job. Go back into fast motion here. I get a lot of comments on my videos about my 
verbal skills. Appreciate that, I guess. Many a year ago, I was a radio DJ. Used to be a lot of fun. Check them all. You want to make sure that your diode is not touching anywhere in here. And you can very carefully push that bus wire down. That's your main bus wire. You can just push it down. So your diode should float fairly well. It would be a little above your bus wire. And you just want to make sure that your cover fits and snaps into place without any resistance. So you'll move it back and forth, making sure it's not touching that. And if it's not, you can kind of pull up a little bit until it does and just slide it down underneath and snap into place. So now we have our wire. I've already pulled the leads apart so that there's no chance of touching when I turn the panel upright. We're going to go ahead and take this panel and these panels over here, and we're going to bring the panels out to the riding lawnmower that has a 40 amp battery i believe in it um 165 cold cranking amp battery been sitting all winter so we're going to take these out these come with numerous different types of hardware with them this one here has all kinds of parts and pieces with it um i'm a little skeptical of this panel here but what we're going to do is we're going to run them all through this controller. This controller will have an amp readout and voltage readout. It's going to give us an idea of the three panels, what's the better buy? This $30 panel, that $28 panel, or this $21 panel that requires a little bit of your attention. Let's go check them out. Now, this is the $25 one. This is a Harbor Freight. Now, that's 20 watts, called 20 watts. This is a Harbor Freight watt I believe it is um, battery charger really weak and people pay 30 bucks for those this is the little little solar land that I've been showing you I did solder job on and then here is one that I find very questionable because of the type of material it's made out of but it might might work um, also 20 watt we're looking at those four panels now we're not even gonna worry about the Harbor Freight one we're going to go straight to this solar land first. So what I've got over here is I've got a starting battery voltage and you're gonna see here, I'm gonna reach over and hit this starter and you'll get to see the voltage move. So hopefully you saw that, drop down to 12.1. But the battery is holding at about 12.4. It'll come back up to 12.4. Now Daniel's gonna go ahead and connect those up together and we're going to get an amp reading right up there where it says A. So it's 20 watts. Yeah. 0.84 amps. All right, he's going to leave that on there for just a second. We see the batteries coming up. So it's effectively charging the battery at just under an amp. So that 20 watt panel is probably fairly accurately rated. Now, we're gonna go ahead and remove it and we're gonna to go to this one here. So let me pause and we're gonna check this one out. We'll put that one on the face of this one so that you get the same readings. That panel is now mounted on the front of that one. The wiring is run over and Daniel's gonna be hooking this one up and we're looking down here at 12.4 volts. So I went ahead and ran the starter. Just, just one little quick turn to make sure it's stabled out back. It's 12.4 volts. And he's going to go ahead and hook that one up now. Yeah. So this is the 20, I think, four and a half, $25 one. 0.46. So your flexible panel is putting out 0.46. So half an amp. 20 watt panel, half an amp charge. Now you gotta remember the charge controller does take a little bit of that power away. So we're pushing just over an amp, or just we're pushing just over half an amp. And it's coming up, you notice that? It's coming up. Could have something to do with the uh, the sun intensity or something, but 
Right now the sun's not blocked by anything, it's just wintertime sun. This is the end of January, January the 30th, so there we go. There is that panel, same angle as the other one, and it is kind of maxed out there. I blocked that a little bit, kind of maxed out at 0.56 amps. All right, so that's not exactly as claimed. All right, now, so far the solar land kicks their butt. We're going to go ahead and disconnect this, get the other one set up, and, and we're going to put it right on top of that one. All right, now, we've gone ahead and got it changed over, and you'll see it by the different style clips. And this one here, laying right on the front of the other one, and y'all make sure, if y'all do this, keep them apart. That's the ones from this middle panel. That is the, this is the, uh, whatever the hell you, how you pronounce that, uh, panel. And we're going to set it right on the front here of the other ones. So everything being equal, we're now going to hook it up over here. What I've got here is I've got the battery voltage back down to 12.4. What I'm doing is I'll spin that starter just a little bit, knock out whatever it tried to put in during this test, and get us back to something that's pretty static. And that's what we're working with. So he's going to go ahead and hook that one up. And then we're going to get a reading of this panel here. And you see I'm not in its sun, I'm over here. So its output is basically about 0.64, so two-thirds of an amp. So we had the solar land panel, which put out nearly an amp. The middle panel that is, let's see, and as it's getting higher on the charge, now I move the panel around, you can see the voltage change. So different sun angles change the panel's output so I'm, I'm just waving it around down here now you can see that this panel produced 70 percent of its claim this panel produced 50 percent of its claim and this panel produced about 85 percent of its claim so you're going to see a list where each one of them come from you can go read their specs make your judgments but if you want to order that look at keep read down hit the show more and I'll put where the Schottky diodes come from, how to use them, you've just seen in the video, and you can order these panels, Solar Lamp, German company, you can order those panels, yes, they're made in China, but they're made using the Q-Cell, and that is a good quality panel. This one here surprised me. I didn't think it would actually even work. So that is this brand here. Battery maintainer, has a built-in diode. Kind of a big diode you might get more power out of this if you put a shot key diode in it and this one here now this one might be convenient because it does have a usb and it will charge your cell phone so there's your obvious choices in your little 20 watt uh camping helper solar market right there that little charge controller is the most efficient i could find for this test so let's see this panel here you can see here, I'm just waving it around out here in the sun. Down, up, whatever the sun angle. So as the battery gets closer to charge, it wants to shut off a little early, but that's not a bad panel, not terrible. Not for about 30 bucks, but you're kind of getting what you're paying for. With that, Solar World outranks them all. All right, guys, y'all look towards some more stuff and we're gonna try to figure out how to make awning covers with these in them for RVs. Thanks.